On the upswing at 26 years old, Matt Chapman has quickly become one of the best third basemen in the league. Last year, he won the AL Platinum Glove Award. That was his first full season in the big leagues. But it's not just his glove that's been impressive. It's also become a pretty dangerous hitter, too. And that has Oakland fans excited about his future. And Matt Chapman just makes another miraculous play. Unbelievable at the hot corner. Matt Chapman has homered again. He's incredible. Plays the game the right way. He's incredibly talented. One of the best defenders I've ever seen and one of the best hitters I've seen too. He's the best third baseman in the game. He has great power at the plate. He's a smart hitter. He's doing a lot for our ball club and that's why he's getting the recognition he is. A rocket off the bat of Chapman. Matt Chapman unloads to dead center. Chappie's he's our, he's our guy. Anchors that, that corner of the, the diamond and does it better than anybody obviously with his golden platinum glove. He's just a, all-around complete player. What he's able to do day in and day out, the running grabs over his head, falling out of, out of play and throwing off his back foot across the field, it's, it's different and, and it's special. And he's a leader in the clubhouse. He, he has fun with everybody. He works extremely hard. Matt Chapman, a dazzling play. In today's game, there's such a plethora of talented third basemen. He's got to be the pinnacle of them. Well, he's really good, and I feel like most of America doesn't really know who he is, to be honest. And and just to clarify, the Platinum Glove essentially is the number one gold glove, so the best fielder. That's what he won last year. But I'm curious, Sween Dog, what you think his ceiling is, especially offensively. We know defensively he's already pretty great. Yeah, you're hoping that that defense, which really has put him on the map, it, it, his offense matches that. If it does, you're starting to look at a perennial all-star and MVP voting you're going to see. Last year, he finished seventh in the MVP voting because of the hot stretch. The beginning of the year, his first 81 games, only at 250, 10 home runs, and 29 RBIs. He already has 10 home runs this year, as we saw the numbers. He is starting to act more confident in the batter's box. We saw the game-winning home run last night. This is a talented player that has that high expectation. Who knows what the ceiling is, but, man, he's he trending northward. Two favorite stories about Chapman, two favorite anecdotes, I guess. One, the A's drafted him upon the recommendation of their scouts. This is Team Moneyball. If you read the book, if you saw the movie, they trashed their scouts, right? They want the numbers. But the scouts were adamant, we want Chapman, this is why. And they told Billy Bean and convinced him. The other thing, this is amazing to me. Same high school as Nolan Arenado. El Toro High School in Lake Forest, California, produced two of the greatest defensive third basemen in the game today and maybe in the game's history. That's pretty impressive. I just want to know what El Toro High School's defensive runs they were that year. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I don't know if they have that. They have the, the well, they were two years apart, <laughs> but still, they were pretty good. It's pretty unbelievable, right, because Arenado's 28, you're right.